Take a gander at this. The South Dakota neighborhood went on a wild goose chase, quite literally. And KCAU 9 reporter Hannah Adamson was at McCook Lake earlier tonight, and she has the details. Hannah? Well, Tim and Sophie, it certainly was a wild goose chase, and believe it or not, it was all for a good cause. A local couple who work with an area conservation league felt it was the right thing to do after they spotted an injured goose, and considering where he made his home, they decided the poor fellow was in desperate need of a new one. Meet Ike, a snow goose with an injury that has left him unable to fly long distances. In the spring, we had a small flock of snow geese come in to um, the wastewater treatment plant behind our home. Now with Ike's flock long gone, Renee and her husband decided they had to help their feathered friend. We contacted South Dakota Game Fish Parks and asked if it was okay if we do try and um, catch him. And they said, yes, no problem. Good luck. Adams Nature Preserve agreed to take Ike in for the winter if anyone could catch him. They've got a small farm over there, so we're going to hopefully give them an addition. With fishing nets and blankets in tow, 20 folks came flocking to help. I started a group text uh, earlier this week and told them the mission and all the parents. We found a time that worked for everybody. Surrounding the pools, making noises, throwing rocks, anything they could think of to catch the not so foul fowl. But despite some ruffled feathers, Ike proved he was no dull gull. It actually flew about 15 feet off of uh, the ground, so we were a little bit surprised by that. Even though the group came home with no goose in their grasp, Nor says the community support gave him goosebumps. We have a great neighborhood. Uh, back here on the backside of McCook Lake. Great neighbors, great people, always willing to help. And that their spirits still fly high. It is fun. <laughs> <laughs> would have been more fun if we caught him, huh? Yeah. Do you think you could have tackled him and caught him? No. No, I don't think I would have been would have bit me. You probably yeah. would have been. The group tells me they do plan to try and catch Ike again, but when round two will take place is yet to be determined. Hannah Adamson, KCAU 9 News.